Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Autograph Collection. It's time now for Autograph Diaries 2020, episode 10. I hope you enjoy. Today is Monday the 2nd of March, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. As you can see, I'm going to open them on camera for you, so let's find out who they're from. So I'm going to start with this one here, which as you can see is dated October 2019. So let's find out who it's from, shall we? Let's go. It is... Michael Caine. Cool. I wonder if there'll ever come a point where I'm not actually excited about getting Michael Caine in the post. Because honestly, how many autographs of Michael Caine do I actually have? I've got a load, don't I? And I still get excited every time. But anyway, this time he signed this photo just here, Michael Caine. And also this one just here, signed in the bottom, Michael Caine. And yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. I love this one personally the best, so I'm probably going to sell this one. We'll see. But yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon again to get Michael in my collection. I absolutely love him. As you may or may not know, I've got his autograph several times. I think he's an incredible actor, so of course I'm always happy to add him to my collection. The amazing Michael Caine. Thank you, Michael. Time now for the second envelope, which as you can see is dated February 2019 and is a private address success, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Can't read my own writing. What the fuck? But if it is, it's been out for a year. Unless I just can't tell the date, which is plausible to be honest. But anyway, let's find out who it's from. As you can see, it's come all the way from America. And unfortunately, I can't use the stamp again. But let's find out who it is. It is... Daniel Radcliffe. Who sent me a preprint. Cool. He sent me a preprint. Along with this card, thank you for your interest in the career of Daniel Radcliffe. Due to the volume of mail received, it is not possible to honour requests for personalised autographs. Please accept this with Dan's appreciation and best wishes. Well Dan, you're a dick. Because I really wanted you to sign me shit. That I've been waiting for. For over a year. Over a year, Daniel. February 2019, private address success. Over a year. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Appreciate it. Dickhead. So today's autographs were a preprint success from Daniel Radcliffe and a private address success from Michael Caine. Thank you, Michael. Daniel, go fuck yourself. Today is Tuesday the 3rd of March and today I received one envelope of autographs in the post. As you can see, it's dated February 2020 and is a venue success. So let's find out who it's from, shall we? This is Alan Cumming. Cool. So Alan signed this Doctor Who photo here. Hello Daniel, Alan coming. I do already have this photo signed, but my previous one is unpersonalised, so I will be selling the unpersonalised one. So yeah, I'm very happy to have it personalised. He also signed this photo here. Hello Daniel, Alan coming. Again from Doctor Who. And also this X-Men photo. Hello Daniel, Alan coming. Now as you may or may not know, my friend Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection recently got me this exact same photo signed and personalised. So thank you very much Mark. As you can see, I've got my own one now as well. Probably going to remove the personalisation if I can, and then sell this one. We'll see. Might just keep both, to be fair. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Alan to my collection again. The fact he's actually personalised all three as well means the world. And yeah, I loved him in Doctor Who, so I'm very happy to add this. And yeah, I'm very happy to add him to my collection again. So today's only autograph is a via venue success from the amazing actor, Alan Cumming. Thank you, Alan. Today is Wednesday the 4th of March, and today I received three envelopes of autographs in the post. Before I open them on camera for you, I've also opened a package off camera, which was also an autograph, so I'm going to show you that one first. That one was actually a Depop purchase of a CD signed by singer Justin Bieber. Now, this is on his album, which is called Purpose, I nearly forgot the fucking title of the album. And it's his best album, so I'm very happy to have a signed copy. As you can see, it's signed there, JB. And this was originally signed in person at an airport. And yeah, I'm very happy with this. I absolutely love Justin, I think he's absolutely brilliant. Although I'm not really a massive fan of him as a person, I do love his music. And yeah, like I said, this is an amazing album, so I'm very happy with this. There's a track listing if anyone's interested. My favourite songs on this are Definitely Love Yourself, and What Do You Mean, and Where Are You Now. And yeah, it's just such an amazing album. So yeah, when I saw a signed copy on Depop, I couldn't resist buying it, and I'm very happy with it. So yeah, the first autograph I received today is Justin Bieber. And time now for the autograph openings. So I'm going to start with this one here, which as you can see is dated February 2020. So let's find out who it's from. It is... Gemma Arterton. Cool. 
So Gemma signed the Blu-ray for the film The Girl With All The Gifts. There's her signature, Gemma Ratterton, and of course there is Gemma Ratterton. She plays Miss Justin now in this film, and I absolutely love this film, it's one of my favourite movies. So yeah, there's that one. She also signed The Voices, of course, there's Gemma. I can't remember her character's name in this, but I absolutely love this as well. And she's also signed Runner Runner. Now, I can't remember a character's name in this either, but this is a brilliant film. But I'm very happy to add Gemma to my collection on Authentic, finally. Very quick reply as well. She usually takes fucking ages, so I'm very happy with this. But yeah, three Blu-rays signed by the amazing Gemma Rafferton. Absolutely love them, and I'm very happy to add her to my collection. TTM success from Gemma Rafferton. Thank you, Gemma. Time now for the second envelope, which as you can see is dated October 2019. Let's find out who it's from. It is... Alexander Lincoln. So as you can see, Alexander Lincoln is in Emmerdale. He plays Jamie Tate. He sent me the signed cast card as requested. All the best, Alexander Lincoln. I'm very happy with this. I absolutely love the card. He's one of my favourite characters in the show at the minute. He's also quite fit, to be fair. So I'm very happy to add him to my collection. As well as this, he's returned unsigned my Emmerdale logo, which is fine. Because I can now send it out to someone who's actually going to sign it. So cool. But I'm very happy that he actually signed this for me. So yeah. TTM success from Alexander Lincoln. Thank you, Alex. And time now for the third and final envelope, which is also dated October 2019. Let's find out who this one is. It is... Gemma Arterton again. Cool. So I forgot I actually sent to her already, but this time she signed photos for me. So we have this one here, Gemma Arterton. 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 And this girl with all the gifts poster, Gemma Arterton. I can't remember sending so much, but I'm very happy that she signed everything. Thank you very much, Gemma. I'm probably going to sell one of these, probably this one here. I'm not really a massive fan of that photo. But yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection again. Since I've got another success, I'm just going to talk about the girl with all the gifts again. If you haven't seen it, definitely please do. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with this. TTM success from Gemma Arterton. Another TTM success from Gemma Arterton, a TTM success from Alexander Lincoln, and a Depop purchase of Justin Bieber. Thank you guys. Today is Saturday the 7th of March, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. Now, as you can see, I've opened them off camera today, apologies for that, but I'm just going to show you what they are. So the first one was actually a via venue success from December 2019, from former Coronation Street actor, Tristan Jemmo. Now, Tristan sent me this signed and personalised cast card, to Daniel with best wishes, Tristan Jemmo, which I'm very happy with. He also signed two photos that I sent to him, this one here, two Daniel Warm Wishes, Tristan Gemmo, and this Rover's Return photo, just signed Tristan Gemmo. Now, as you may or may not know, Tristan is no longer in the show. He played Robert Preston in the show up until his character's death a few months ago. And yeah, thought he was a brilliant character, loved him in the show. I've tried writing to him a few times before, never received a reply. But when I seen he was doing a pantomime at the tail end of 2019, I thought, fuck it, I'm going to try one last time. He either replies or he doesn't. And he actually did. And yeah, I'm very happy to add this cast card to my collection. I don't have this one yet. And it's my very first personalised and my very first reply from him, like I said. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. A via venue success from Tristan Gemmo. Thank you, Tristan. And the second autograph I received today was actually a purchase from my friend Tazim on Instagram. So thank you once again, Tazim, for another amazing sale. I'm absolutely over the moon with this. It is the amazing Kendall Jenner. Now, as you all may know, I'm a massive fan of the Kardashians, so I'm always going to jump at any opportunity to get a Kardashian sibling. And of course, Kendall Jenner is one of my favourite sisters. I absolutely love her. She's my favourite Jenner sister. And yeah, couldn't say no to this autograph. Tazim did another amazing deal for me, like I said, and I'm absolutely over the moon with this. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. Thank you very much, Tazim, for selling this to me. For actually mentioning it to me in the first place, you knew I was going to say yes. So yeah. 10 by 8 autograph from my friend Tazim of the incredible Kendall Jenner. Thank you again, Tazim. So there we go. Those are all of the autographs that I received this week. Thank you once again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week with episode 11. Bye, guys.